Resident assistants are live-in student staff members of the Office of Residence Life, Housing, and Dining Services. One RA is speaking out about how she feels this job is draining its employees. I don't intend to speak for other RAs. I don't intend to speak for even my staff, but I do hear people who agree with things that I put out there that are criticisms of what we've been doing. And I hear people talking about the overwhelming amount of work we have and the underappreciation we have. During Tuesday's Morgan Library bomb threat, all RAs were in Clark, located directly next to the library, for their monthly in-service meeting. After the alerts were sent out, Berman says residents' life did nothing to recognize the situation. I went, you know, what's going on with that? What are we going to do about it? Uh, they basically said, don't worry about it. We just, it's better for us to stay in this building. Um, that was the only acknowledgement that I got and that the rest of the RAs got that night of that incident. The only acknowledgement. What I think about it is that this seems to be the general um, attitude toward bias incidents and other incidents across campus that have happened recently is that we ignore it. Berman says that her, as well as some of her peers, felt physically unsafe in the building and she believes this was one of the last straws for some of the RA staff members, as many of them feel unheard, underappreciated, and overwhelmed by their superiors. Um, feeling like uh, the people above our bosses think they know our residents better than us.